Welcome back to PhotoFinds. I'm your host, Kevin E. Let's get started today, where we are going to have a look at Bach Tower. Now, if you've not heard of Bach Tower before, it's because it's not an amusement park or a theme park. It's not even technically in Orlando. It's south of Orlando, not too far from Legoland, actually. You take the same road down 27 to get there. It is a National Historic Landmark. What is Bach Tower? Well, it's a preserved area. You're going to find that after you pay admission in the main entrance here, there's a lot of driving through these orchards and, um, and orange groves to get to this, the Singing Tower. Uh, which is kind of one of the high points in uh, Florida, in central Florida, and we'll get a view from that later on. It's mostly, however, a botanical garden. And so after parking and making your way up to the uh, reception area and the sort of the main entrance, uh, you'll see some cultivated gardens, but that's not the kind of gardens that awaits us. It's mostly more wild. The reception area is good because you're going to want to stop by the information zone here and get yourself a map of the grounds, as well as rent, uh, if you want to, a kind of free backpack for kids, which has things in it like a GPS and magnifying glass. Um, it's really organized to make things a little bit more interesting for the children. And then hop into the theater as well for a five or ten minute little video about the history of the place. And before you visit the nearby museum, also included here, we learn about who Bach is, some of the people he knew, some of the artifacts he had, uh, what it took to build the singing tower, the carillon, which is a little bit like an uh, or organ, except running with bells, ringing with bells, and what it took to build that. And this is an example of what it takes to run the carillon, and you get to ring one of the bells. In fact, here's someone ringing the bell up top. Just outside from here in the reception area, interesting rock garden. If you look at it a little closer, all the rocks are on their side, reportedly causing some arthritis for the artists who built it. Most of what you're going to find at Bach Tower is this, uh, informative um, wilderness where you can see some of the wildflowers as Florida might have been uh, many centuries ago, uh, as well as little activities like etchings. You can bring along some paper and do some etchings of things for kids or even visiting things in their pristine habitat. So here's the window to the pond shack, and if you go inside, you'll get a view of the pond, yes. And there may be squirrels or birds or alligators or other animals, uh, just giving you a sense of what wild Florida was like. Most of what most visitors are going to hike from here up to the uh, to the singing tower, to the tower up at the top, and this is interesting for a couple of reasons. Uh, you hike through sort of native palms, and uh, if you can navigate your way through these scary spiders, you'll be a stronger person than most. Stopping perhaps at the koi ponds, where the koi fish will uh, do their best to give you dumbfounded looks. There they are, always out looking for food. Uh, before making your way to the structure itself, where uh, as you can see it's, it's quite impressive and almost too tall to capture in a single image. Now around the corner from here is a, is a gold or gold plated door, which is interesting. Some of the carvings are interesting as well, and you'll see some of this in the video as it's explained to you ahead of time. Here's a sundial on one side of the, of the structure. So um, taking the whole thing in, you can see that it kind of has a clearing of the trees, what is otherwise a large um, kind of mound at the top of central Florida. And so as you can see in a little bit in the zoomed in um, spot here, we're at elevation. This is one of the few spots in Florida that is an actual hill. And so you can get a great view of the landscape of central Florida. And this is what inspired Bach in the first place to buy the land and set it aside and to build that tower that you see there now. It's become something of a park, and it's gorgeous to visit, uh, but it is mostly about the plants. Um, there's not a lot of animals to look at there, except for a couple that you might encounter on the way, um, and mostly about the view as well. That does it for this time. We will catch you next time back in Orlando with some of the regular attractions.